Welcome back. Today is the day we are going to have a battle between the industry's biggest super heavyweights, and that is the Ace Beam X70 and the Immolent MS12. These two lights are the most powerful production flashlights that have ever been made to date in 2019. Uh, if you remember uh, from a few months back my review about the Immolent, it is 53,000 lumens. And the Ace Beam X70, which was released like three weeks after I made my other world's brightest flashlight video about the Immolent. It is factory rated at 60,000 lumens. And so we are going to go outside and we're, we're just going to see, we're going to go out and we're going to do a whole bunch of beam shot scenarios and see which one of those is really the best. And we are also going to take a look at the actual numbers because uh, Tubasaurus Rex, that is my six inch lumen tube is about as dialed in as it's ever going to be. And so we're going to look at this, the numbers on this versus also a bunch of other super hitters from the industry. So I thought we could start by playing a little game. I'll go outside and turn on the flashlights and I won't say which one is which. You tell me which one you think is which. And if you think one is brighter than the other one, we'll just say flashlight A and flashlight B and see how you do. Okay, why don't we start out close to some stuff. Flashlight A. You guys aren't cheating, are ya? <laughs> Flashlight B. To give you an idea how far that really is, that barn is three garage doors wide in the front and at least three or four cars deep. That little blue dot in front of it is a tractor and off to the left is a full-size pontoon boat on a trailer. Okay, anyway, so did, did you decide which one you think is which? All right, I'm going to tell you. Um, if you said Flashlight A was the Ace Beam X70, you are right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I think some of you kind of cheated because if, if, well, not cheated, but yeah, the Ace Beam, it has, you can see, We've got all our short reflectors around the outside, and then we've got down the middle, we've got that one deep one, and it leaves that that dot, that circle right in the middle. Um, so pretty much any time, unless you're real close up, it kind of gives itself away. But anyhow, both awesome, just just amazing. Um, I, I think, you know, I think that um, close up, there's not much of a difference um, at a distance. I can definitely, you know, tell that uh, the ace beam has a little bit of an advantage just because of that one in the center. Um, but I, yeah, I can I can see a difference. I I can. I I'll just tell you right now. I think that the uh, the ace beam looks a little bit brighter. 
But I do need to tell you on that note that the Ace Beam X70 was sent to me for review by Advanced Knife Bro. Not that he has a store or anything. If you don't know, Advanced Knife Bro is a fellow YouTuber who makes awesome videos with uh, some jokes in them. Some of them are funny jokes, even. Um, his channel is primarily about knives, but he makes some really great flashlight videos. So if you're into knives or flashlights, be sure to check him out. So let's go over some specs real quick. In both lights, we get 12 Cree XHP70 emitters. In the Emelin MS12, they are Generation 1. In the X70, we get Generation 2 LEDs, plus that XHP35 high intensity in the center with that deep reflector. Both lights have an active cooling system. The emulent is on board inside the housing and the ACE beam comes in the form of an attachable handle with a fan on it. I tested the fan on the emulent in my last video and even though it doesn't move air in a traditional sense, like as in suck it in one way and put it out the other, my sense after having used it several times is I feel like it does benefit it some. Um, to me, it feels like when that fan kicks on that it's a heat spreader. Like, instead of just feeling the heat emanate from one center spot in the head of the light, it feels like it moves it to the rest of the body very quickly and the temperature evens out. Maybe that's my imagination, but that's what I feel like after using it several times. I haven't had that much of a chance to use the one on the ACE beam, but it moves air in a more traditional sense, you know, in one way and then across these fins and out. So uh, I think that both of them are beneficial, but not in, you know, a monumental way. I think that they help some. With the emulent, we get a little bit shorter stance, but with the ACE beam, we get a little bit smaller uh, hand diameter. The body, I can touch my fingers together here. This one, I can't quite reach them around, so a little easier to grip for me. Also, I like the ACE beam design for this in that the handle gets your hand away from that heat. <laughs> Talking beam quality, I love the beam, the shape, the softness of my MS-12. It is very well executed. I love what the orange peel reflector does. I feel like it, you know, I like the large hot spot. It feels really full. It's good close up, good at a distance. Um, I, I like it. Uh, however, the Ace Beam did a great job too. With that smooth, with the XHP 70.2 LED, you really don't have to have the orange peel reflector. You don't get the dark cross effect. It's just a softer, smoother beam and they can get, uh, you can lose less light bouncing off those smooth reflectors than what you tend to lose bouncing off a heavy orange peel. The only negative in the beam for me is I got to say that in that, having that extra one in the center, that 35 high there, you know, it looks a little strange seeing just that lone dot out there when you're moving it around, but it's really not bad. The beam is smooth. It is full. Uh, I feel like I can really see what's going on out there. Both lights came with a strap and a sort of carry case. The ACE beam came with a good soft zipper case and the emulent, the box doubles as its case. It has a handle. In this case, I definitely like ACE beam's idea better. The box does an okay job protecting this light when it's sitting in the truck, but when you go to carry it, sometimes the magnets come loose and the light falls out. Guess how I know that. <laughs> the user interfaces on these are really pretty similar. They're both click for on, click for off, press and hold to cycle, regular modes, low, medium, high, uh, double click for turbo. Uh, the Ace Beam does have some other features. It has an eco mode and things like that. Um, but for the most part, the basic use of each of them is about the same. Uh, both of them, you know, uh, on turbo, on the highest, you, you're looking at maybe two, two, three minutes on them. Fan, no fan, whatever. You know, it's just not sustainable. Uh, both of them, once they settle, you know, uh, for the emulent, you're looking around 
fifteen thousand for Ace Beam around eighteen thousand, which is which is great. But I mean, it's the fans don't keep it to where you can run them turbo wide open. Um, last. Something I think both Immolent and Ace Beam completely drop the ball on is the switch. Both I have several lights from both of these companies, and they all suffer from I can't find the switch in the dark. And you know, I these I love these companies. I'm not I'm not being a hater, but these low profile switches that are just on a round neck, I I find that switch as much on accident as I find it on purpose, you know? I mean, I don't know if they made it like that to try to keep you from accidental turn-on, but if, see there, Ace Beam and Emolent, if you guys are listening, I'm telling you, I, I would love you so much. If you would make this be like a big, round, you know, maybe twice that size rubber dome shaped thing that is easily found in the dark maybe make the neck you know tapered right there some stuff so that immediately in a stressed situation in the dark you can find that switch that would be a monumental improvement in my mind now if you remember Tubasaurus Rex here. This is my six inch tube that I've been trying to get dialed in for a while now. And I mentioned it before, and I wasn't totally completely confident in my numbers just yet. But since then, I've had a lot of time to work with it, and I'm pretty satisfied with how it's turned out. It does use the bends in it for light integration, as well as it has multiple light diffusers inside of it. One right here at the beginning, and then another after the last bend, right about six inches before the sensor. And I've gone to really great lengths to try to eliminate any variables that I possibly can with this setup. That said, there is a ton of them. Measuring a flashlight is it's really not as easy as you would think because things like ambient temperature have a huge impact color temperature of the light matters um, when you're driving anything off of batteries especially when you're talking about the highest modes uh, you know, where some of the lights are even direct drive, there can be a huge difference. Um, I brought, uh, in addition to, you know, my filters and everything, I brought everything in the house so that it would be more temperature controlled, right at 70 degrees, left everything in here overnight, but charged all the batteries a day or a day, maybe two days before, brought them in here, let them all sit in here to try to control everything I possibly could. So I feel like I have dialed this in about as best you can expect from a homemade setup. I mean, and, and that's pretty good. It's just I want you to realize that if you're not getting exactly the numbers that I am, all of those hundreds of reasons, you know, could be could be part of that. I am also calibrated off of Malka, who is using professional equipment, which means that, you know, doesn't mean that I'm... 100% pro, but it means that I'm, I'm a step in that direction. That said, the factory rating for the Imolent MS-12 is 53,000 lumens, and I got 38,952. For the Ace Beam X70, factory rated at 60,000, I got 49,691 lumens. Now, I know some of you are thinking, oh, that sounds kind of low, you know. Um, and, and that's what I thought too. That's why I wanted to make sure that things were pretty well calibrated before I said anything, because I was a little disappointed, you know, I'm not when I go outside and turn the light on, but I was thinking the numbers would be a little bit higher than that. But I mean, what am I going to do? Sit here and gripe about 50,000 lumens. Plus I also went ahead and in this same scenario with all of the, you know, just what I said before, I tested a ton of other lights, including the BLF GT, the GT70, Convoy L6, and a whole bunch of other ones to get as much data as I possibly could. I also did a just in case thing where I calibrated off of the X70. 
I assumed that it was correct, that it was putting out 60,000 lumens, and I ran another set of numbers off of that. So you can look, I added that extra cell, and there'll be a link in the description to a picture of that chart, so you guys can just binge on it if you want to. Okay, there's one last thing that I have been dying to tell you guys about, but it's not, it's not relevant to this. So if you're not interested, I totally understand. And I'm going to put a timestamp right here that you can skip to, to go right into the rest of our beam shots. If you don't want to hear about it, but I can't sit on this any longer. So, uh, the thing I want to tell you about is a book, this book. It was written by someone very, very special to me, and I am so proud of her. It's a fiction novel, and I think it's good. Now, let, let's not pretend at all that I could even potentially be unbiased about this, but, you know, so I was expecting it to be good, but it's better than what I expected. Now, full disclosure, it is a fiction novel, but it's a Christian fiction novel. So um, it's a story book, but there are, I mean, there's, I'll flat out tell you, there's places in there where characters quote the Bible. So if you're not into that, you, you might not like this book, but it is an incredible story. And it's also a discipleship book. You know, it teaches people about, uh, you know, the Bible. So the story is, it's a dystopian novel. It's set in the future, which is kind of why I sort of like it. And it's about a group of people that um, go completely off grid. You know, they, they go separated away from society, partly, you know, because of like persecution by the government and also just because, you know, I guess they want to get away from that. Anyway, the style of it is a little bit like the Hunger Games books, but not like the story itself is nothing like them. It's com it's completely unique. It's not a copy of anything that's already out there. Totally unique. Um, I also like it. It's it's a pretty easy read as far as you know, not using too many big words for me. And the character development in the book is awesome. It's like you get to know the characters in a really awesome way. You get to know, like you get inside their heads, like you get to know what their thought process is and why they think that, and it just feels really natural. Now, my wife and some of my other family said that the, they thought that the first couple of chapters were slow, and I didn't get that from it at all. But just you know, just so you know, I guess if you if in the first couple chapters you're struggling. I'm telling you, push through because there there were some things in this book that really surprised me. I'm really good at picking up things in movies and just, you know, figuring out what's going on ahead of time. And there were some good surprises, some twists in this book that I really appreciated. So if you're into stories like this, you can get a paperback edition of this on Amazon for $14.95, I believe, or you can get the Kindle version for $0.99. Cents. If you like it, please leave a review, and thanks for listening to me. Our lineup begins this evening with Convoy C8+. Plus. Now, having a look at the BLF GT70. Moving on, Imolent MS12. Now, Ace Beam X70. Now our long range test beginning with Imolent R90C. Imolent MS12. Ace Beam X70. Immolent MS-12. Immolent MS-12. 
Ace Beam X70. As always, guys, super thanks for watching, and good lucks. What's that? Ah, at last, I have found you! Sun Dragon! My evil nemesis! How did you find me? Why, it really wasn't that hard! I just waited for you right here! The same place you come out every night! Did you really think you could hide forever, Moon Emperor? I can tell you one thing. By this time tomorrow, I will have made you wish that you hadn't! Oh, really? And just how do you propose to do that? <laughs> Why, you're way down there, and I'm clear up here! <laughs> By laying hold of the power of the moon, like this. <laughs> you fool! I was expecting as much. However, it is I who will destroy you with this. so easily haha -ha! take that now we will see once and for all who is the mightiest warrior ha! You've defeated me! Ha! Huh, I hope you've learned your lesson! Indeed I have. But I'll be back! Does that mean you're coming over for the New Year holiday? My sister, Princess Raindrop, misses you dearly! Ah oh, yes, of course! You know I'll be there! Well, until then! Yes, until then!